In the early 2010s, Paul Gerard noticed that there was pretty much a large decline in Hellraiser movies since the 80s. He felt that a reboot of the original franchise was needed, as Hellraiser was only staying relevant through terrible direct-to-video films. With that, he wanted to go back to the beginning, hence the subtitle Origins, and expand on the mythology of the franchise's version of Hell, Pinhead, and the Puzzle Boxes, with the comic series being a major inspiration as well. Paul Gerard stated this in regards to the project. Our goal was to expand and explore the mythology, to create an epic vibe while retaining the mystery of the Cenobite Order. It's about keeping that balance between the mystery of the unknown and need to see more, to experience more. The original movie was indeed a masterpiece of imagination and iconic horror. The world we live in is so saturated with the tones and taboos explored in those early movies that in order to truly capture the imagination of today's audience, a new direction was needed. I wanted the design, particularly of Pinhead, to firstly be stripped of the current restraints and second to be driven by esoteric lines, shapes, and concepts. It's a very intriguing idea, and Gerard worked hard to get this project to become a reality. So he gathered the funds, the crew, and the cast to try and work on a pitch trailer to get investors interested in the project. This eventually led to a single day of shooting in August of 2012, with an unpaid cast and crew in the hopes that this project would eventually take off. It was eventually released on the director's personal YouTube account and gained a lot of traction, and the pitch was met with positive reception. However, this is pretty much the end of the story. About a week before the trailer was released on YouTube, Clive Barker announced his own reboot with Dimension Films and Doug Bradley. The concept nor the eventual trailer was mentioned, so it seemed as though they were heading off in their own direction. Ironically, this quote-unquote reboot never saw the light of day either. In April of 2014, Gerard released his own statement on Facebook stating that Origins wasn't happening due to the fact that no studios or investors were interested in the project, due to the elaboration of the mythology that would have been involved in Origins, as well as being too expensive. As I stated, Barker was set to deliver his own reboot of Hellraiser, with Doug Bradley coming back as Pinhead, but it never saw the light of day. Instead, we got yet another horrible sequel in 2018 entitled Hellraiser Judgment. Barker nor Bradley were involved. In terms of the future of Hellraiser, there was going to be a film written and produced by David S. Goyer, but that got nixed within a year, and another film directed by David Bruckner and written by Ben Collins and Luke Piotrowski was going to be the next film in the franchise. However, HBO then revealed earlier this year that a Hellraiser TV series was happening that was set to expand on the universe in some way, shape, or form. It involves Mark Verheiden, writer of Daredevil, Ash vs. the Evil Dead, and Swamp Thing, and Michael Doherty, writer-director of Trick or Treat and Krampus, are writing the series, and David Gordon Green was directing some episodes. All are executive producing, along with Danny McBride, Jody Hill, and Roy Lee. It's an interesting effort, and since there's a lot of talent behind it, I'm excited for it. In terms of Hellraiser Origins, though, man, I wish the film saw the light of day. It definitely could have been the shot in the arm the Hellraiser franchise needed, as opposed to yet another horrible sequel that wasn't necessary. It had a lot of interesting ideas from what was shown, to great concept art, to a great trailer as well. Link will be in the description. Unfortunately, there's only concept art and a trailer, no script or anything in regards to a story, unfortunately so not a ton of information I can give you. But I hope to see you tomorrow with another video.